Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, in the previous video, we discussed the basic problems of an economy and organization of economic activities in detail. In this session, we will be discussing multiple choice questions on central problems of an economy and organization of economic activities. Let us start. Economist regards the decision making as important because resources required to satisfy our unlimited wants and needs are finite or scarce. Correct. It is crucial to understand how we can best allocate our scarce resources to satisfy our unlimited wants and needs. Exactly. Resources have alternative uses. So right answer is all of the above. Because of three, these three reasons, economist regards the decision making is very important. So the right answer is all of the above. Business economics is abstract and applies the tools of microeconomics, involves the practical application of economic theory in business decision making, correct? incorporates the tools from multiple disciplines exactly so the right answer is d which includes involves the practical application of economic theory microeconomic theory or economic theory in business, uh, business decision making and it incorporates the tools from multiple disciplines like statistics mathematics econometrics etc so because of that reason, the right answer is B and C. In economics, we use the term scarce to mean absolute scarcity and lack of resources in less developed countries. No, not only in less developed country. Relatively scarcity. Scarcity in relation to wants of the society exactly the scarcity in relation to wants of the society right scarcity during the time of business failure and natural no not only during this period all the times we will face the scarcity scarcity caused on the account of excessive consumption by rich people no whether they consume or not there will be a scarcity so the right answer is relative scarcity that is scarcity in relation to wants of the society now let us discuss next one what implication does resource scarcity have for the satisfaction of wants not all wants can be satisfied so this implic implicates that resources are scarce that means we have resources, but they have scales because we cannot satisfy all our wants. So not all wants can be satisfied. We will never be faced with the needs to make a choice. No, we will always forced to make a choice. We must develop a way to decrease our individual wants. No, we can't decrease our individual wants. Discovery of new natural resources is necessary to increase our ability to satisfy our wants discovery of natural resources is necessary to increase our ability to satisfy our wants but here it it does resource scarcity it is referred are with in relation to satisfaction of our of our wants all our wants cannot be possible so the right answer is not all wants can be satisfied which of the following is a normative statement you know what is normative statement which explains what should be done and what should not be done so it explains what hard to be so planned economies allocate resources via government department it is a fact most transitional economies have experienced a problem of falling output and rising the prices over the past decades 
so positive economics deals what was what is so it is a positive statement there is a greater degree of consumer sovereignty in the market economies than the planned economy that is the fact and the fact is, will be dealt by positive economics reducing inequalities should be a major priority for mixed economy so here they are how a mixed economy what should be the priority of mixed economy so this statement we call it as normative statement so the right answer is d next one in every economic system or in every economic system scarcity imposes limitations on what household business forms governments a nation as a whole of course for all this household business form government and nation as a whole household business form not for government no government also faces this problem local state government but not for federal no this is also wrong household and government but not for business form no even business form will also face the problem of scarcity so the right answer is a which is the right answer a is the right answer next one is macro economics is called dash economics applied no aggregate exactly experimental no none of the above the right one is aggregate my macro economics is also called as aggregate as macro deals with the totals are aggregates next one an example of positive economic analysis would be positive what was what is an analysis of relationship between the price of food and the quantity purchased it is a practical one applied or we can say that a fact determining how much income each person should be guaranteed so it is a normative statement determining the fair price for the food of course a normative statement deciding how to distribute the output of the economy again it is related to normative so which is the positive economic analysis an analysis of the relationship between the price of food and the quantity purchased a study of how increase in corporate income tax rate will affects the national unemployment rate see national unemployment rate it is a macro economic concept no doubt in that which of the following does not suggest macro approach for india does not suggest macro approach determination of gnp of india it is a macro concept finding the causes of failure of abc no it is a micro identifying the causes of inflation macro analysis and causes of failure of industry in providing large scale employment macro concept so right answer is finding the causes of failure of abc limited ram my corn harvest this year is poor krishna don't worry prices increase will compensate for the fall in the quantity supplied as quantity supply decreases prices will increase that is what uh, krishna says we know climate affects the crop yield some years are bad others are good madhu government had to guarantee that our income will not fall in this conversation normative statement is made by of course it is madhu what he says what had to be a government has to do in order to protect a fall in the price income of a, a farmers or income of a individuals in the society so madhu statement is the right answer next one consider the following and decide which 
if any economy is without scarcity pre independent indian economy where most people were farmer no mythical economy where everybody is a billionaire no this is also not a right one any economy where income is distributed equally among its people no whether it is a pre independent india mythical economy or when income is distributed equally among different people every economy will face the scarcity and no one is free from without a scarcity so the right answer is d that is none of the above which of the following is not a subject matter of microeconomics price of mangoes is a microeconomic concept cost of producing fire truck for fire department of delhi that is also a microeconomics quantities of mangoes produced to for mangoes market of course it is also a microeconomic concept national economy's annual rate of growth is a macro concept so this is not a subject matter of microeconomics which branch of economic theory that deals with the problem of allocation of resources of course problem of allocation of resources is a subject matter of microeconomics so in microeconomics we deal with the problem of allocation of resources so right answer is microeconomic theory next one is which of the following is not a subject matter of business studies should our firm be in the business of course it is a subject matter of business economics how much should be produced and at prices should be kept that is also business economics concept how will the product be placed in the market and that is also subject matter of business then the last option that is decrease unemployment in the economy no this is not related to business economics so right answer is how should we decrease unemployment in the economy next one which of the following is a normative statement or normative economic statement unemployment rate decreases with industrialization no economics is a social science that studies a human behavior minimum wage rate should be raised to 200 per day this is a normative statement india spends a huge amount of money on national defense this is a fact so it comes under positive economics so the right answer is c the minimum wage should be raised to 200 per day which of the following should be considered a topic of study in macro economics macro economics effect of increase in wages on the profitability of cotton industry you no know, it is a micro concept effect on steel prices when more steel is imported you no know, it is related to single industry steel industry effect on effect of an increasing inflation rate on living standard of people in india it is a macro economic concept effect of an increase in the price of coffee on the quantity of tea consumed of course it is related to single product so right answer is effect of an increase in the inflation rate on living standard of people in india the difference between positive and normative economics is as you know positive economics deals with what was and what is normative economics explains what should be done and what should not be done what should be done what is good you have to do what should not be done what is bad for 
the society that should not be done now let us discuss positive economics explains performance of an economy while normative economics find out the reasons for poor performance no this is not the right thing then positive economics describes the facts of course positive economics deals with the facts while normative economics involves evaluating economic functioning that is whether some of these are good or bad for welfare of the people exactly uh, normative economics describes the facts no positive economics describes the facts and while the positive economics involves evaluating no this is the work of normative economics so this is also right not a right answer the positive economics describes while positive normative economic describes positive economics prescribes while normative economics describes no positive describes normative prescribes so d is also not right answer so the right answer is b positive economics describes the facts of economy while normative economics involves evaluating whether some of these are these are good or bad for the welfare of the people which of the following is not within the scope of business economics capital budgeting of course risk uh, risk analysis of course it comes under business economics business cycle 2 so left out is accounting standards so it is not a subject matter of business economics which of the following statement is incorrect you should consider here incorrect business economics is a normative in nature correct business economics as a close connection with the statistics correct business economists need not to worry about macro variables no they have to worry business economics is also called managerial economics right so which is not correct statement means c is not a correct statement because business economists should function in the macro economic environment so they have to worry about macro variables economic goods are considered scarce resource because they cannot be increased in quantity no do not exist in adequate quantity to satisfy requirements of the society this is correct or of primary importance is satisfying social requirements or limited to man made goods no it is not your scarce resource not limited to man made or primarily importance in satisfying social requirements we are talking with respect to scarce resources okay here do not exit adequate quantity to satisfy requirement of the society so in relation to availability of quantity of resources to satisfying our unlimited wants in a free market economy allocation of resources is determined by consumers preference it is not done by either voting by consumers or centrally planned authority or even the level of profits of the firm so right answer is consumer preference a capitalist economy uses blank as a principal means of allocating the resources that is the prices that is the right answer even though to determine the price we depend on demand and supply but still the main principle which guide us in a capitalistic economy to allocate the resource is the price so right answer is price which of the following is considered as a disadvantage of allocating the resources using the market system income will turn to be unequally distributed people do not get goods of their choice no they will get a goods of their choice 
men of initiative and enterprises are not rewarded no profit will turn to be low no high profit will be there so here disadvantage means allocation of resources in the market economy so you know in a capitalistic economy because of right to private property and uh, um, the gap between haves and have nots will increase so there will be unequal distribution of national income so that is the main disadvantage of capitalistic economy or market system which of the following statement does not apply to market economy that is capitalistic economy firms decide whom to hire and what to produce correct firms aims at maximizing profit that is also correct household decide which firm to work for and what to buy with their income of course government policies are primarily forces that guide the decisions of firms and household no so the right answer is government policies are the primary forces that guide the decisions of firms and households in a mixed economy all economic decisions are taken by central authority all economic decisions no all economic decisions are taken by private entrepreneurs no all economic decisions are partly taken by state partly taken by private entrepreneurs exactly the right answer is c because mixed economy is where there will be a coexistence of both private sector and public sector private sector and public sector will coexist so the right answer is c the central problems in economies is that what are the central problems comprising the success of command versus market economy no guaranteeing the production occurs in the most efficient manner no guaranteeing the minimum level of income for every citizen no allocating the scarce resources in such a manner that society unlimited needs or wants are satisfied with the best possible manner so right answer is d capital intensive technique would get chosen in a labor surplus economy no capital surplus capital intensive means use of more capital in the production so capital surplus economy where relative prices of capital is lower exactly developed economy where technology is better developing economy where technology is poor no the right answer is b which of the following is not one of the four central questions or central problems that the study of economics is supposed to answer what who produces what when are goods produced who consumes what how are goods produced so these three are the basic problems when are goods produced no this is uh, not answered so right answer is b larger production of blank goods would lead to higher production in future of course capital goods so right answer is capital goods economic system in which all means of production are owned and controlled by private people capitalistic economy so right answer is capitalism where all economic activities are owned and controlled by private people in a socialism government controls in a mixed economy there will be a mixture of both so communism is not there under this system of economics macroeconomics is a study of all aspects of scarcity no national economy and global economy as a whole right 
big business no decision of individual business and people no so right answer is national economy uh, freedom of choice is the advantage of freedom of choice of course it is a capitalistic economy both buyers and sellers are free to choose their own way means of production means of consumption so right answer is uh, capitalism exploitation and inequality are the uh, minimal under socialism exploitation and inequalities of course that is socialism capitalism you know it is a disadvantage concept and mixed economy of course there will be existence of both the private and the public we cannot see minimal of exploitation and inequality so right administered prices refers to administered by external authority or uh, some organization we call it as administered price the prices determined by forces of demand and supply no the prices determined by seller in the market no prices determined by an external authority which is usually government so the right answer is c in economics central problems central economic problems means central economic problems that is with respect to making a choice or allocation of resources you can see here output is restricted to limited availability of resources of course consumers do not have much money as they wish would wish no that is not the right answer there will always be certain level of unemployment resources are not always allocated in an optimum way so in economics central economic problems means output will be always restricted to limited available resources so you have to plan what to produce how to produce for whom to produce on the basis of availability of resources and those resources are scarce so the right answer is output is restricted to limited availability of resources scarcity definition of economics was given by of course robbins leonard robbins the definition science which deals with the wealth of nation was given by adam smith exactly which of the following is not one of the feature of capitalist economy right of private property it is a feature of uh, capitalistic economy freedom of choice by the consumer that is also no profit no loss motive no this is not a feature of capitalistic economy competition of course in a capitalistic economy there will be a competition so the right option is c there is a need of economic study because the resources are limited wants are unlimited resources are unlimited no so the right answer is both a and b the benefits of economic study is it ensure that all problems will be appropriately tackled no we can't give assurance it helps in identifying the problems no we can use it may help but we cannot identify all type of problems it enable to examine a problem in its right perspective exactly by using so many um, the concepts which we learn in uh, microeconomics and macroeconomics uh, may help us to Uh, examine the problems in a right prospect it gives exact solution to every problem no it is not possible so the right answer is it enable to examine the problem in its right prospect managerial economics is applied economics that fills the gap between economic theory and business practice correct is just a theory concept no trains managers how to behave in recession no provides the tools which explains various concepts not only that it is more than that 
so it is nothing but a applied economics that fills the gap between uh, economic theory and business practice which of the following statement is correct so we have to see which of the following statement is correct microeconomics is important for study of particular household and a particular form of course it deals with the individuals macroeconomics is important for study of economic condition of a country as it deals with the aggregates none of the above both a and b both a and b is a correct statement mr you can see uh, mr satish hire a business consultant to guide him for growth of his business the consultant visited his factory suggested some changes with respect to the stop appointment loan availability and so on which approach is that consultant using microeconomics macroeconomics none of the above both a and microeconomics as is dealing with a single business unit so it becomes a microeconomics microeconomics is the right answer profit motive is the merit of of course capitalistic economy blank is also called as command economy of course it is a socialistic economy which of the following economic system has to deal with the central problem of scarcity of resources of course all economies capitalistic socialistic mixed so all of the above the central problem in every economic society is to ensure minimum level of income to everyone allocate scarce resources in such a manner that the society's unlimited wants are satisfied with the best possible manner to ensure that production occurs the most efficient manner of course all problems any type of economic system okay always they try to look into the things like allocation of scarce resources in a best possible manner to satisfy the society's unlimited wants so right answer is b a developed economy uses technique in production labor intensive capital intensive home based traditional of course developed economy capital intensive central problem in economics is that of comparing the success of command versus market economy no guaranteeing that production occurs in the most efficient manner no guaranteeing a minimum level of income for every citizen no allocation of scarce resources in such a manner that society's unlimited needs or wants are fulfilled are satisfied in the best possible manner capital intensive technique would get chosen in a labor surplus economy capital intensive means use of more capital not this one capital surplus economy where relative price of capital is lower developed economy where technology is better developing economy where technology is poor the right answer is capital surplus economy definitely the capital will be available at a cheaper rate which of the following is not a part of central economic problem what to produce how to produce for whom to produce price fixing of production no the last one is the right answer it is not a problem or central problem of an economy refers to some total of arrangement for production and distribution of goods and services in the society of course that we call it as economic system economic problem arises when wants are unlimited resources are limited alternative uses of resources of course all of the above we have to consider because of these three reasons there will be economic problem so economic problem arises when you are satisfying your unlimited wants with the limited resources which have alternative uses which of the following is not one of four central 
questions or problems that study the economics is supposed to be answered economics is supposed to be answered who produces what that need to be answered when are goods produced who consumes what how are goods that means who produces what what to produce then uh, who consumes means for whom to con produce how are goods produced how to produce when are goods are produced in economics we are not going to answer so that is the right answer is b classification of economies into capitalist socialist mixed is based on their mode of production exchange distribution government's role in economic activity both a and b either a or not b the right answer is both a and b because we have to consider how goods are produced and exchanged and distributed among different section of the society and even we consider role of government in different economies so the right answer is both a and b the choice between labor and capital intensive technique is related with how to produce so right answer is how to produce which of the following is not an example of capitalist economy so cuba is not a capitalistic economy it is a socialistic economy so right answer is cuba freedom of choice is advantage of capitalist economy the right answer is b a capitalist economy consists of centrally planning authority no central planning authority a mechanism to decide as what how and for whom to produce so the right answer is a mechanism that is price mechanism to decide as what how and for whom to produce in a free market economy that is capitalistic economy allocation of resources is determined by voting done by consumers no planning authority no <clears throat> consumers preference right answer level of profits of the firm no it is a consumer preference which determines allocation of resources whichever consumer prefers their price or demand will increase and it brings a higher level of profit so they give much importance for consumer preference a capitalist economy uses blank as a principal means of allocating resources the price is the right answer of course price is determined with the help of demand and supply forces but in a capitalistic economy price mechanism plays important role price mechanism is the main feature in which economy price mechanism plays important role in a capitalistic economy which out of these are the features of capitalism profit motive right human welfare no working through price mechanism right so the first and third is the right answer so first and third is option c option c is the right answer blank is an economic system in which all means of production are owned and controlled by private individuals for, for profit that of course capitalistic economy and a free economy that is nothing but a capitalistic or market economy prices are regulated no determined through free interplay of demand and supply partly regulated none of this right answer is b which of the following statement does not apply to market economy market capitalistic economy firm decide who whom to hire and what to produce correct firms aim at profit maximization right household decides which firm to work for and what to buy with their income of course F government policies are primarily forces that guides the decision of firms and households no the right answer is d government has no role to play in market economy which of the following is not a feature of capitalistic economy 
right to property restrictions on consumer rights to choose no profit motive freedom of enterprise so right answer is b this is not the feature of perfect competition sorry market economy or capitalistic economy capitalist economy follows the policy of of course laissez faire policy regulated markets promoting public sector none of so right answer is a the concept of socialist economy was published by karl marx and frederick engels by communist manifesto uh, the right answer is both a and b socialist economy is self regulated no profit oriented no command economy yes right right answer is command economy allocation of resources as per market requirement no the right answer is c socialist economy is also known as command economy right centrally planned economy correct free market economy no so a and b is the right answer so d is the correct answer both a and b although price mechanism exist in blank economy but it has only a secondary role of course in a socialistic economy the first role is played by the central planning authority so the second uh, role or importance will be given to price mechanism in socialistic economy socialism ensures rapid growth and balanced development right to work correct incentives for efficient economic decisions no so the right answer is a and b so the correct option is d both a and b the west well uh, ussr that is formal ussr is an example of dash economy it is an example of socialistic economy which of the following is not a feature of socialistic economy collective ownership is a feature of a uh, socialistic economy absence of consumer behavior is right minimum role of price mechanism correct high competition no it is not a feature of capitalistic economy which of the following is an example of socialistic economy as well ussr north korea china cuba so all of the above is the right answer demerits of socialism do not include demerits predominance of bureaucracy correct it is there uh, red tapism and favoritism is corruption is there consumer sovereignty no the right answer is consumer sovereignty is not a demerit of socialism under dash the consumers have no freedom of choice capitalistic socialistic mixed none of the above socialistic economy is the right answer socialist economy is also known as mixed economy no planned economy no capitalistic economy no none of the above is the right answer because socialistic economy is known as command economy or centrally planned economy which of in which economy market and government both play an important role of course it is a mixture of both capitalistic and socialistic so mixed economy which economic system is described by chum peters as capitalism is the oxygen of tent oxygen of tent the right answer is mixed economy so here it describes okay capitalism is an oxygen tent in the mixed economy where you can see both the sectors government itself must run important and selected industries eliminate a free play of profit motive and self interest it is applicable in case of of course mixed economy which of the following is the features of mixed economy planned economy dual system of pricing exist correct 
balance regional development yes all of the above in a mixed economy blank all economic decisions are taken by central authority no all economic decisions are taken by private entrepreneurs no economic decisions are partly taken by state and partly taken by private s yes. the right answer is c dual system of price exist of course where there will be a private and public that is mixed economy which economic system is described by champeter of course already we discussed that is mixed economy mixed economy means coexistence of small and large scale industries no promoting both agricultural and industries in the economy no coexistence of rich and poor no coexistence of both private and public sector is the right answer blank is a sector in which both government and private entrepreneurs have equal access and join hands to produce commodities services leading the establishment of joint sector of course it is a combined sector where you can see both the private and public sector in india mixed economy exists due to coexistence of public and private sector individual forces of demand and supply order of orders by government none of this the right answer is coexistence of both private and public sector large production of dash goods would lead to higher production in the future of course capital goods are used for other production of other goods and services so it is a capital goods which promotes a higher production in the future dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much